These might be some of the reasons why your GPU isn't performing as well as it should. This is an article on XDA, a great site with some great information. Make sure you go over here and check it out. I will provide the link to this article in the YouTube description down below. Now, the first one is thermals. You have to make sure that your car isn't getting too hot. And some of the mid-range cards, high-end cards these days can get rather hot, 80 degrees Celsius and more. And what happens when it gets too hot? Well, it could crash and cause all kinds of performance loss, but you can also potentially damage the card. And of course, your in-game experience because of performance loss is not going to be good. You're going to get things like stuttering and more happening. So how can you prevent your video card from getting too hot? Remember, if you're enjoying this content, you can do everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe. Of course, hit that notification bell as well and comment. So to lower temperatures on your GPU, there are a few things that you can check. One of them, of course, is to have your computer in a cool room, typically on the floor. If you have air conditioning, turn it on if it's very hot to keep the room temperature down and that will help keep your GPU temperatures down as well. Make sure as well you use canned air or if you're using an air compressor, make sure the pressure is not too great. You can, you know, do some dusting. You can blow some of that ugly dust out that's clogging all the fins on the heat sink on the GPU. Also, a good airflow. Make sure you have a case that has great airflow. And as well, and this is pretty extreme, but if your warranty is expired, this is probably the best time to do this. And normally, it doesn't happen until over a year of using it. But sometimes the thermal compound starts to degrade or sometimes actually the thermal compound is not put on properly. You can take the heat sink off of your GPU. But again, if you do this, you could void the warranty or damage the card. So if you're doing that, be careful. Now, it also could be that your CPU is too slow, meaning that your CPU is actually bottlenecking your GPU and it could be bottlenecking your entire system. It is important if you are building a computer system, of course, to keep bottlenecks out of it. So in other words, you know, have everything kind of on par, fast memory, a fast CPU, a fast GPU, fast motherboard, if you can afford it. So how can you tell if your CPU is bottlenecking your GPU and slowing it down? Well, just check the CPU usage. If you're seeing 90, 95, 99% all the time, yeah, you got a problem you need to upgrade maybe your CPU. Also, what PCI Express version do you have? If you have an older motherboard, well, you more than likely have an older PCIe slot, and that could slow down your cart, especially if you are doing typically non-gaming stuff. This will slow it down. Usually PCIe 3, 4 is certainly recommended, but now there's PCI Express five. And from what I've heard, if you are using the 50 or 5000 series NVIDIA cards, and you're doing some rendering and some other very heavy intensive GPU work, it can degradate the overall performance of that GPU. Now, in this particular sense, we're talking really about gaming. And for the most part, as long as you have PCI Express 3 or 4, then you should be okay. But keep that in mind. Now, the last point here is drivers. Make sure you have a decent driver. They mentioned new drivers, but some of the new drivers are absolutely horrible. Now, if you are playing a bleeding edge game, like a brand, brand new game, and you are forced, you know, to install a brand new driver, then you have no choice. However, Google it, go on Reddit somewhere in some community and just research what driver is best for your particular video card. Now, I did a video on that. I will either link it on the screen or link it down below so you can go over there and check it out. There are some decent NVIDIA drivers that will generally work on 30 series, 40 series cards. If you have a 50 series card, <laughs> Good luck <laughs> because driver support for that card has not been that great. However, there are decent drivers out there and certainly you want to have a really good driver. If you don't, you're going to have all kinds of problems. And remember, if you have any suggestions or comments about this topic, let us know.